It is time for Check on Sports on Robin Hood Radio. And we're going to bring in Mike Cozzi in a second. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. And one is that number right now for the Yankees over the Oakland A's. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a happy man this morning. Here he is. Number one, Mike Cozzi. Good morning, Mike. It may be number one, but they're playing like number two. I just, I just, I thought, you know, if I didn't play some sort of song to signify that, that, that you would have gotten on me. And, and so I was sitting here saying, what can I play? And so I said, hey, one is the loneliest number because it's down to one now. Oh, yeah. Well, like the Yankees have been playing the, the stalwarts of the American League with the, uh, the White Sox, the Tigers, Seattle, Oakland, and Minnesota. Those were their last five opponents. You know what their record is? Uh, two and three or one and four? Seven and nine. Oh, seven and nine. Right. So they're sub-500 against the bottom dwellers of the, of the American League except for the A's. So this is a team that, you know, um, what's, what's his name? Captain Smith of the Yankees, also known as Aaron Boone, with his, uh, his language of we're having – we're having a slight problem, folks. We seem to have hit a little ice cube in the, in the middle of the ocean, but we'll be okay. So the, the Yankees, also known as the SS Titanic, have hit the iceberg, and it's just a matter of time until the ship sinks. There's no urgency in this team. Um, they, they lose to, like I said, bad teams, and Aaron Boone just keeps fitting out, spitting out this philosophy of his that doesn't work instead of kicking these guys in the pants and get them to play. Um, this team has become more of Baba Booey Sanchez's team than Boone's team because they have accepted the lack of work ethic, they have accepted the lack of urgency, and they just go through the motions and, oh, well, we lost today, we'll, we'll play again tomorrow, and, and we'll see if we, can feel, if we can feel better about ourselves and, and win a baseball game. Boy, oh boy, they, 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 they make their last manager look like Casey Stengel a lot, don't they? Now, I want you to tell us what you think here. I do all the time. I know. I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And, and, and the Yankees are full of excuses. Aaron Judge is not going to make that big of a difference here. Last night, this team went to Minnesota, and they made the pitcher look like Burt Blylevin. They were no hit through seven innings. No hit through seven innings against the pitcher whose ERA is closer to five than it is to two. Um, there's no excuse for it. The Yankees are just underachieving. They can say anything they want. This team will not be that much better and would not have been playing that much better if Aaron, if Aaron Judge was in the lineup. They're not. They're just not doing it. I mean, they got no hit last night for seven innings against the Minnesota Twins. That just says everything about the last three months of this Yankee team. Since July, <clears throat> I would venture to say they're either two games under, two games over 500, somewhere around there. That's not a team that's going to all of a sudden be able to flip a, sit, a switch and go through the playoffs. It's not going to happen. All right. Okay, with that being the said, Mets, the Mets won again. The Mets, let me tell you something. <clears throat> the Mets, with a ragtag team and a bunch of Band-Aids holding it together, have been playing much better than the Yankees have. The, Yankees, uh, the Mets last night destroyed the Marlins, and the Mets are playing decent baseball. They're 12 games under 500 now, won seven out of their last three, and right now they're playing the best baseball in the National League East, believe it or not. Um, if the Mets finish anywhere close to a 500 record this year, it's going to be a success for them. On the other hand, the Yankees, they're going to make the, the uh, wild card game, and you hear people trying to sugarcoat it <clears throat> by saying, well, they weren't going to catch the Red Sox anyway. Well, <laughs> that, that's, that's the loser's way out because ne you knew they weren't going to catch the Red Sox, but now they're on the verge of not even hosting the, the playing game, which to me is a collapse. All right, well, I, I, I agree with you on a lot what you say, but I'm also going to disagree with you. Uh, I think the Yankees uh, are going to wind up with 95, 97 wins. Beautiful, but how many games are they going to win in the postseason? I don't know, but all I can tell you is that uh, they're going to have either the second or third best record 
in, 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 in the American League. All right, let's go back 20 years. The Yankees finished with this. I'll give it second-best record in the American League. They get knocked out in the playing game against Oakland. Disappointed. What does Dis- Mr. Steinbrenner say? He fires every. He fires the manager. There's no doubt Why? about it. Because, because the season has been a, a it not non-successful. Every a failure. When you, uh, you, when you when, and that's you know whether you like the Yankees or they hate the Yankees, the the, the standard bearer is every year. If you when you're stocked, I'm talking about since Steinbrenner's been around. Every year when you're stocked, if you don't win the World Series, it's considered a disappointment. Absolutely correct. Yeah. And for the way that the Yankees have been playing, where they were staying toe to toe with the Red Sox, they were two games, three games behind for the whole season. Now all of a sudden they're ten or eleven games out. What's what's the problem here? The Yankees are not producing. Yeah. Um, they went out and they got pitchers. They went out and got players. They went out and did whatever they had to do. And they're going to blame this collapse that Judge got hurt. It's not because Judge got hurt. I'm it's gonna... not because Judge got hurt. It's because Boone can't motivate this team to play. Boone's afraid to go through the, the locker room and kick a few guys in the butt and say, you're on a New York Yankees. You're playing professional baseball. You need to improve your game. He's afraid to do that. No, I, I, I agree with you. Listen, And I'm I... saying this. I don't have my Yankee hater hat on now. I have my baseball hat on. I'm calling it the way I see it. The Yankees are a better team than this and should be playing a lot better than they're playing, and it's Aaron Boone's fault. And, and you're right, because if you look at the pitching over the past week and a half to two weeks, except for um, one or two instances, the pitchers have only given up three or four, two or three runs a game. I mean, let's face it, Severino's been bad since the All-Star break. Severino and, and what's his name, and Gray, have, have hurt the team with their oh, Gray, starts. Gray is a non-entity. Yeah. He shouldn't even be in a major but, league. But they've hurt their team with their starts. But the other pitchers have held the Yankees in games, and the Yankees just haven't hit. Not hitting. And, and They're not hitting. And I'll say this as a Yankee fan. I, I don't want to see Sanchez up there. He's batting 188. It's now... 20 games to go in the season. I don't want to see Bird up there. He's hitting 210. Exactly. I keep I keep hearing these guys are going to come around and come around and come around. And so they, is Christmas. They haven't mm-hmm. that's right. They haven't come around. It's like when I watch the Giants and I have nothing personally against these guys and I don't no. have anything personally against Eric Flowers. He's been given Eric Flowers with the Giants has been giving 5 years to come around. He hasn't come around yet. There's a there's a time when you say this isn't working. Yeah, this this isn't the kumbaya campfire. This is professional sports, and it's a, it is a business. And your business is to win. And I don't care if every newspaper on God's earth tells me that you're the best thing since Swiss cheese. You're not producing. You don't play. It's the end of the story. If you're working on a trading desk at any kind of a company, and you have the biggest reputation in the world, and all of a sudden... You're losing millions instead of making millions. Guess what? You're in the street. There's, there's a lot of these guys, they, they shouldn't be in the major leagues. Um, the second baseman and shortstop can hit the hell out of the ball, but they can't stop one. So what's the, what good is it if you're giving the Yankees three runs a game sometimes, but you're giving the other team two? It, 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 it doesn't work that way, not in professional sports. This isn't the everybody gets a trophy league. This is the... One team gets a trophy league. That's the best team in baseball. And if you look at the Red Sox and Oakland and Houston and other teams that are heading to the playoffs, there's a fire in that team. The Yankees don't have that fire. All right. We got to move on here because we got we got to do our, our NFL picks. Yeah, I, I checked the litter box this morning. I'm ready to go. Okay, you 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 lead in. Go on. All right. Who's playing? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> um, uh, it is <laughs> Boston, Baltimore and Cincinnati. All right. Well, everybody thinks Baltimore because they whop the Bills are going to do some damage. I'm taking Cincinnati. I was going to say Cincinnati. I was going to take Cincinnati. I, 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 I think the, the, I think they'll win. Just they're at their home, uh, and and Baltimore only has one thing. One thing. Crabs. No. <laughs> That and Flacco. Flacco is not; he can throw the ball, but uh, they're 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 not the same. So I'm with you on Cincinnati. And if you like football, there's some good games this weekend. Carolina is at Atlanta, which is a good game. Minnesota's at Green Bay, which is a good game. And uh, you got New England and Jacksonville, which could be a 
preview of the AFC Championship. I know we're getting ahead of ourselves. And you have the Sunday night game, which is one of the biggest rivalries in the NFL with the Giants in Dallas. So if you're a football fan and you enjoy watching this, you've got some nice games to watch this weekend. And even though the Giants in Dallas uh, don't look to be together yet, it's still... No, it's Giants in Dallas. It's Giants in Dallas. It's, 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 it's fun to watch. It's fun to mm, watch. I mean... The, the score might be 45-43. It might be a, a, a total train wreck, but it's going to be an interesting game. Yeah, absolutely. All right there, Mr. Kazi. We have to go. Hey, when is the humidity going to break? Ask, uh, ask our boy here, when's the humidity going to break? Because uh, this is ridiculous. I'm going to get on to Mr. Pagano in just a few minutes, and I'll find out. Come on, Pat. Put the fans on. Get the humidity out of here. <laughs> All right, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Mike Kazi with a check on sports. Uh, this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.